This is BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. And that is driven high in the air to left, and that is going to be a bat-flipping grand slam. Live play-by-play coverage of BYU Baseball is brought to you by doTERRA. doTERRA, proud sponsor of the BYU Baseball team. Now let's get you ready for Cougar Baseball. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Closing strains of our national anthem. Good evening, Cougar baseball fans, and welcome back inside. Larry H. Miller Field on the BYU campus in Provo, Utah, for the first game of the Cougars' regular season-ending series with the Lions of LMU. The two teams separated by a single game in the WCC standings. Fourth place, BYU mathematically locked into the WCC tournament. Fifth place, LMU has still not yet clinched a spot in Stockton. There's still plenty at stake this weekend as the Cougs close out their home slate with an toward the postseason. I am your play-by-play broadcaster, Greg Rubel, and with first pitch just moments away, let's hear from BYU head coach Trent Pratt in our lead-off interview, presented as always by doTERRA. doTERRA, pursue what's pure. And Coach Pratt tonight talks about a change on the hill. Usual weekend opener, Jack Sterner will not get a Thursday start for the first time all season after leaving last week's start with a blister on his throwing hand. Yeah, we're going to have Jack skip his start this weekend um, and try to let that make sure that blister heals all the way up. It was getting better, but it, you know, it's still kind of sensitive, and we didn't want him to go out there and tear it again this weekend and not be able to throw next week. So the plan kind of is to have him you know, get that, hist- that blister healed up, and then hopefully and then he can go on that Wednesday game for us in the conference tournament next week. And so without Jack going tonight, how do you plan to go? We'll, have, we'll just move Bryce up and have Bryce Robeson throw tonight and then Ryan Brady tomorrow and then, you know, see how it goes and see who's available on Saturday for us. Okay, then how is the matchup with LMU tonight on the hill? Diego Burrs, he's good. He's a left-hander, uh, crafty. You look at his numbers and he doesn't give a lot of runs. He throws a lot of innings. And so we'll have our work cut out for us. Um, he pitches down the zone. He doesn't have, like, big velocity, but he really knows how to pitch and he really competes. You've already clinched a spot in the WCC tournament. What's on the line for BYU this weekend? Just keep playing good baseball. And if we win, we, ch- we have a chance to be home team in, the, in that game Wednesday. But the key for us, we just want to keep playing good baseball and, and go out there today and, and win this game and then you know, hopefully take care of tomorrow when that happens. This could be a preview of a conference tournament matchup next week in Stockton, too, if things shake out a certain way. I know it's crazy to think that, that you know, we might play four games straight against each other. So hopefully we can get it rolling a little bit again and – and we'll see what happens. All right, heading into the final weekend of this regular season, what can you say about how this team has performed through 50 games to this point? I think we've been good. I think overall, like, our kids play hard, and the last little while, I think they started believing they could win those games. We started getting a couple of key hits and, and big hits, and I think our pitching and our bullpen have been spectacular all year. And we've had some guys step up in the place of some injuries, some some tough luck injuries we've had this year. We've had numerous guys step up down the stretch and play well to help us kind of get rolling a little bit. And so, I mean, I just love these guys and how they come out every day and man they deserve all the credit for how they've come out and and just kept playing hard day after day one lineup note i think is important cole gamble is going to see his first appearance in right field in almost two months he said he's been feeling good so we were talking to him yesterday and he was like hey i think i'm ready to go out there and we'll run him out there today and see how, and see how if it gets sore then we'll rest it if it feels great then hopefully we can keep him back out there the rest the rest of the season all right good luck to cole and the guys coach thank you for the preview we'll talk to you post game good thanks greg that is BYU head coach Trent Pratt. Time now for tonight's starting lineups, courtesy of Big O Tires. Your local Big O Tires has financing available. Big O Tires, the team you trust. For the visitors from LMU, leading off and playing center field, number 15, Devin Ornelas. Hitting second, the shortstop, number six, Benny Casillas. Hitting third, the third baseman, number 24, Diego Baquero. Hitting cleanup, the left fielder, number three, Grant Weiss. Hitting fifth, the H, number 25, Brent Zimmerman. Hitting sixth, the, set, the catcher, number 18, Robbie A. Ayers. Hitting seventh, the first baseman, number eight, Dylan Dennis. Hitting eighth, the right fielder, number 30, Ben Grunberg. And out of the nine hole, the second baseman, number two, Cole Roberts. Starting pitcher for the Lions, number 35, Diego Barrera, a left-hander. BYU's starting lineup, leading off and playing second base, number five, Ozzie Pratt. Hitting second, the shortstop, number two, Brock Watkins. Hitting third, the center fielder, number six, Mitch McIntyre. Hitting cleanup, the DH, number 27, Ryan Sapiti. 
hitting fifth and getting his first start in right field in eight weeks, number 22, Cole Gamble. Hitting sixth, the third baseman, number 25, Austin Deming. Hitting seventh, first baseman, Jacob Wilk. Hitting eighth, left fielder, number 10, Hayden Latham. Out of the nine hole, the catcher, number 18, Colin Reuter. And the starting pitcher for BYU is number 19, Bryce Robinson. The right-hander has just delivered ball one to get this game underway here at Miller Park. The 1-0 to Devin Ornelas. Ornelas lifts one to left field. Hayden Latham drifting back and making the catch in left. And that's the first out of the ball game. As center fielder Devin Ornelas flies out to left fielder Hayden Latham. The left, the outfield left to right for BYU. Latham, McIntyre, and Gamble. Gamble again back in there for the first time since March 24th. The infield from left to right. Deming at third. Watkins at short. Pratt at second. Wilk at first as Roby kicks and fires. And that'll be a sharp base hit up the middle. A two-hopper to Mitch McIntyre from Benny Casillas. So the shortstop Casillas laces the first pitch he sees into center field. And the Lions have a one-out single, bringing up Diego Baquero. Baquero, the third baseman, and he is the offensive leader for LMU in practically every meaningful category. Batting average, hits, doubles, homers, RBIs, total bases, slugging percentage was hitless in the BYU series last year, however. And he'll swing and miss at the Roby offering. Strike one, two, Baquero. Bryce Robinson giving you a four-pitch mix. Fastball slider, curve, and change. Fastball getting into the mid-90s. No balls on a strike. One out, one on. We're top of the first, BYU and LMU. Here on this regular season closing weekend, Roby throws over to Jacob Wilk, who puts the swipe on or on Casillas, who is back. Bryce Robinson leading BYU with four of the team's ten pickoffs, but it has been a while since BYU has picked someone off. The 0-1. And that's quickly 0-2 as waving at an outside offering well out of the frame is Baquero for strike two. So Roby ahead 0-2, working from the stretch with Casillas on first base. Casillas a one-out single for the Lions here in the top of the first. And that will be just foul down the third baseline. Count stays 0-2. So Casillas with the single to center. And this after his last seven games saw him hitting 111 coming in two tonight with a run. Mustered five RBI in that kind of low hitting stretch. And now finds himself aboard with one out here in the top of the first. And that is a swinging strikeout. As off speed goes Roby at 76. And the curve gets Becaro swinging and missing, and two are gone for the Lions here in the top of the first inning. So Bryce Robertson, Robinson's first K of the day. He pitched in two of last season's three games in Los Angeles when the Cougars swept the Lions to open their conference campaign. So two out and a man on first, Casillas for Grant Weiss, the left fielder. And that's a swinging strike, gets away from Reuter, and that will allow... Benny Casillas to reach second. So after an Ornelas flyout, a Casillas single, and a Baquero strikeout, Casillas advances to second as the ball squirted away from Reuter with Grant Weiss in the batter's box, swinging and missing. They'll call it a steal officially from Casillas, who was off and running on the bobble, and that's another swinging strike. So Bryce Robinson has suddenly has the Lions swinging and missing at everything as it goes to 0-2 with two, two out and a man on second. Runner in scoring position for Grant Weiss, a 245 hitter with runners in scoring position. A 296 hitter on the year. Roby comes set, and that will be another swing and a miss to end the inning. Top of the first, at least. Back-to-back -back forwards K's, swinging strikeouts for Baccaro and Weiss. And for LMU in the top of the first, no runs on a hit. There were no errors, and a runner was left on. We go bottom one. Cougars get to bat for the first time tonight in a scoreless game on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Baseball. Now back to the ballpark and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. 
Bottom of the first inning, and Ozzy Pratt will lead things off for the Cougs. BYU and LMU in this regular season ending series from Larry H. Miller Field, part of the Miller Park Complex here in Provo, Utah. Ozzy on a five-game hit streak coming into tonight will face the Southpaw, number 35, Diego Barrera. Barrera is a workhorse, 62 and a third innings pitched on the year. He has a 124 pitch outing on his 2022 resume, his long outing, eight and a third innings. He can take you deep. 0-1, oh, Ozzy lays down a bunt right to Barrera. He'll gather and gun to first. And Ozzy is retired, trying to reach on a bunt attempt. And so the 1-3 ground out gives BYU one out for Brock Watkins here in the bottom of the first inning. Ozzy Pratt coming in two tonight as the Cougars' new batting average leader at 301 on the season. That will dip below 300 on the 0-1 start to his night. Brock Watkins will slice one opposite field, the one hopper to right. And the first pitch he sees gives the Cougs their first hit of the night here in the bottom of the first inning. So both teams with one out singles here in the first. Casillas for LMU was stranded at second base in the top of the first here in the bottom of the inning. Brock Watkins reaching with a one out single to right. And Mitch McIntyre will now dig into the box with Brock on first. Mitch McIntyre leads BYU in on-base percentage. Left-handed bat of Mitch McIntyre. Barrera will fire over to first. Checking Watkins. And with that first inning single, Brock Watkins' hit streak is now seven games. Mitch McIntyre looking to extend his hit streak to seven games tonight as well. As Barrera comes plateward and just outside to McIntyre for ball one. Primarily two-pitch mix for Barrera. Fastball change will occasionally throw a slider. The 1-0. And he goes off speed with that change that gets McIntyre swinging and missing for strike one. That may have been the slider away from McIntyre. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. Bottom of the first. It's inside for ball two. Fastball at 85. Not a big velocity guy. The, the heater's going to go only get up into the high 80s usually. But as Trent Pratt called him in our pregame interview, Barrera is a crafty thrower. The 2-1. That's off speed. Foul back out of play. Two balls, two strikes. Brock Watkins on first, and Mitch McIntyre hitting with one out. In last year's season against L last year's series against LMU, McIntyre was four for 13 with two runs and an RBI as BYU swept the Lions in LA to 2-2. Two -two. Just missing. Good take on the fastball, low and outside. The count is full to McIntyre. Three balls, two strikes. Mitch McIntyre, fourth all-time in BYU career walks. 132 bases on balls, needs three to move into a tie for third. And that'll be a foul tip strikeout and two gone. You're in the bottom of the first of a scoreless game. So Barrera's first K on the day. May not have clipped that pitch, may have been a clean swing through. So Ryan Sapiti will now hit with two gone and one on. Ryan, two RBIs in the loss to Utah on Tuesday. RBIs 40 and 41 to lead the Cougs. And Ryan's out ahead of that. Off-speed first pitch from Barrera for strike one. The wind blowing out to center field tonight. Overcast and cooling. And that's a pitch off-speed and outside and low and away. Sapiti fooled on that and swings for strike two. So Barrera gets ahead of Sapiti, no balls and two strikes. Looking for temperatures in the 50s. The forecast high tomorrow, 60s on Saturday. So maybe a coolish weekend to close the home slate for BYU. Inside on Sapiti near the belt buckle for ball one. 
One ball, two strikes to BYU's designated hitter tonight. The DH has been Cole Gamble last couple of weeks, but Cole is going to take Sapiti's place out in right field. Sapiti had taken Cole Gamble's place in right after Cole got injured. The 1-2 to Sapiti. And that'll be in the dirt, taking off as Watkins throw to second is well wide, and Watkins takes a base. So runner on second with a 2-2 count and two out to Ryan Sapiti. Now a runner in scoring position for Sapiti, hitting 290 with runners in scoring position. And a backward K outside edge. Sapiti will not get a chance to bring home the Cougs' first run as it's a heater on the outside part of the frame for a called strike and a backward K. So both pitchers start the game with two strikeout first innings. We go to the top of the second after BYU goes. No runs on a hit, no errors, and a runner left on. Top two, 0-0 Cougs and Lions on a Thursday night catfight on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more BYU baseball, let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Top of the second, Bryce Robison delivers ball one to Brett Zimmerman, the LMU DH, hitting his scoreless game to lead off the second. Breaking ball stays high, ball two, 2-0 two oh, to Zimmerman. 67 degrees with a 14 mile an hour per wind, mile per hour wind out of the northwest, out to center field. Called strike. Gets Bryce back in the count. At two and one. Tomorrow's forecast high, 51 degrees right now. That'll be a base hit. One hopping to Cole Gamble in right. So a leadoff single for Zimmerman, and Robison is allowed two hits, one in each inning. Single in the first to no consequence as Casillas was stranded at second. Finishing off the forecast for the weekend. So today's high was 76. 51 for the high tomorrow, 61 on Saturday. So... A relatively cool finish to BYU's home schedule is forecast here in 2022. Throw over to first, just back, is Zimmerman. And that wind is stiff out to center field right now, really gusting. Empty count, no one out, and a man on first here in the top of the second. Zimmerman takes his lead after a leadoff single. Roby kicks and fires, and that'll be chopped foul outside the third baseline. Fastball at 88, grounded into foul territory. Bryce Robison got into two games last year. In the Thursday win, he pitched one inning, gave up three hits in a run. Then on Saturday got the save, a three and a third inning save. No hits, four strikeouts, and no walks. As that's off speed, and out in front is Ayers for strike two. Robbie Ayers is the hitter. The Lions catcher. Jersey number 18. On the red LMU away jerseys tonight, the 0-2 to Ayers. Ayers pops it up. Brock Watkins going back. McIntyre coming in, and Watkins will call for and make the catch. Drifting back just a little bit at the last second, as that win may have played a couple of tricks with that high pop-up to short left center. But it'll go as a pop-up to the shortstop. And one out now for Dylan Dennis. So one gone and one on. Here in the top of the second. Dylan Dennis, the first baseman, second on the team in batting average. Hits an RBI. Gives some good secondary pop out of the back third of the order. A swing and a miss on the change of pace from Roby at 75. So no balls and a strike with one out and one on. Top two in a scoreless game, BYU and LMU. LMU still not clinched a spot in the conference tournament. BYU, the last of four teams to clinch. Four teams are fighting for two spots here on the final weekend. The 0-1 from Roby to Dennis. And that pitch will squirt out of the glove of Reuter and get to the backstop, allowing Zimmerman to reach. And so for the second consecutive inning... An LMU batter will go first to second on a wild pitch or a pass ball. Casillas got the second in the first, and then it was back-to-back strikeouts for Robison. Now it's Zimmerman on second with one out and a 1-1 count to Dennis. Runner in scoring position now for LMU. 
and that will be a base hit to left. Deming dove out to snag it just beyond his glove, and it'll allow Zimmerman to reach third. As Zimmerman had to wait to see if, D if Deming would make that catch so he'd not be doubled up, and once it dropped into left field, Zimmerman advanced to third, putting runners on the corners now. So two singles in the inning. Dennis is on first. Zimmerman is on third after a single, a pass ball, and a single. So first and third for LMU with the eight hitter, Ben Grunberg, stepping in right-handed bat. Just one lefty bat in the LMU batting order. One out, two on. Squaring and then pulling back on high and tight is Grunberg for ball one. Grunberg does lead the Lions in sacrifice bunts. Runners on the corners. As a thought of a squeeze. And the bunt is down the first baseline. Runner comes home. The throw to first. They do get... Gr oh, took him off the bag. Safe. As a runner scores on the squeeze bunt down the first baseline... Grunberg looked to be beaten to the bag by Pratt, but Pratt was off the bag when he stepped down. So Roby handled the bunt, and as he stepped and threw to Ozzy, Ozzy put a foot down, but it was in front of the first base bag. Now it's first and second, and one out, and a run across. LMU leading it 1-0 on the squeeze by Grunberg, bringing home Zimmerman. Ozzie Pratt covering first on the bunt, stepped in front of the bag, back-to-back -back bunts. This one down the third baseline, not handled cleanly by Deming. And it'll be an infield single. The bases are now loaded on back-to-back -back bunts that allow runners to reach. Cole Roberts on the bunt down the third baseline, and Deming could not field cleanly. So Dennis to third, Grunberg to second, and Roberts on first. Four singles in the inning, the last two on bunts. And it won't be a true single on the previous bunt by Grunberg. They're going to call that an error on Pratt stepping in front of the bag. So an E4 for Ozzie. Either way, the bases are loaded and one out. And the top of the order, Ornelas, will lift it to right field. Gamble will make the catch. Tagging and scoring is Dennis. Runners will each advance a base. And now it's second and third, two out, and two runs across for LMU in the top of the second inning on a sack fly to right by Devin Ornelas. RBIs for Grunberg and Ornelas here in the second. And it's 2-0 LMU, two runs on four hits. Outside from Bryce Robinson, a called strike. Fastball to Benny Casillas. Seventh batter to come to the plate here in the LMU second. 2-0 Lions. LMU breaks out on top. And that's in the dirt low and away from Robinson as Reuter with the block. On second is Grunberg. On, beg your pardon, on third is Grunberg. On second is Roberts. Both runners advancing on the last tag that scored Dennis. One ball, one strike. And that'll be a chopper up the middle, handled by Watkins, the gather and the gun. And the Lions are done in the top of the second. But LMU scores two runs on three hits. There was an error, and there were two left. Um, we go bottom two, LMU two, BYU no score on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Baseball. Now back to the ballpark and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Cole Gamble leads off the BYU bottom of the second with a grounder two second. Roberts handles. Fires over to Dennis in a 4-3 ground out. Has the Cougars with one out now in the bottom of the second. In the top of the inning, two unearned runs, putting LMU on top by a score of 2-0. One out for the Cougs. Bottom two, Austin Deming will now bat. BYU Athletics, meantime, would like to recognize Nico's Pizza for being tonight's game sponsor and thank them for being an important part of our team. Nico's Pizza, home to Utah's best pizza and breadsticks. No balls and a strike on the take by Deming. One out, no one on, bottom two. Opposite field foul out of play, 0-2 to Deming. Deming did not play in any of the three games played 
in Los Angeles last year against LMU. The 0-2. And that's barreled into left center and a diving catch made moving to his right. Devin Ornelas lays out and hauls in a dipping fly to left center. A shot to the power alley and a nice play made by Ornelas for out number two. So Deming retired on the fly out to center. Come on, rip one! Ornelas, a 99.2% fielder in center field. Just one error on the year. I made a nice diving grab on the dipper by Deming a moment ago. The 0-1 to Wilk. Jacob Wilk next bats. With two gone and no one on. One ball, one strike to BYU's first baseman. The 1-1. High and outside for... Ball two, two balls and a strike, 85 mile per hour fastball missing from Diego Barrera. Barrera three and three on the year, 2.74 ERA coming in two tonight, missing the outside edge, and the count goes to three and one. A nearly four to one strikeout to walk ratio for Barrera, the three one, and gets a called strike. And he gets that strike on the outside edge and maybe a little off the black. The benefit of the doubt from home plate umpire Adam Dowdy. Full count, two out to Wilk. Yeah! Jacob fouls out of play. Jacob Wilk had a good series last year in Los Angeles. He was four for ten with two runs and two RBI as the DH on that weekend. First baseman tonight, the 3-2. And that'll be a grounder backhanded. Nicely done, deep in the hole by Casillas. The throw to first, not in time. As it hops to Dennis, that was going to be a very difficult play to make. It'll be a two-out infield single for Jacob Wilk. As going deep in the hole to handle was Benny Casillas. Came up firing, but the throw just not able to catch Wilk at first base. So Wilk is aboard with the Cougs' second hit of the night. It's a two-out infield single setting up Hayden Latham. Latham a right-handed bat facing the left-handed Diego Barrera. And Barrera is low for ball one. Again, primarily fastball and change. Occasional slider for Barrera, the 1-0. Fastball grounded, backhanded by the third baseman, Baccaro. His fire to first is in time, and a nice play made on the hot corner. Baccaro fielding the grounder by Latham, and on the 5-3 ground out. LMU gets out of the BYU bottom of the second. So for the Cougs in the second, no runs on a hit. There were no errors, and a runner was left on. We go top three, LMU two, BYU no score on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more BYU baseball, let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. One ball, no strikes to the first hitter in the top of the third for LMU, Diego Baccaro. Baccaro. Started a nice play to end the bottom of the second on a 5-3 ground out. An appealed strike on the second pitch from Bryce Robinson to Baccaro. 1-1 one, one the count. One ball, one strike to the leadoff hitter here in the third. LMU 2, BYU no score. Grounder fair. Deming sliding on third, making the snag. Firing to Wilk and a 5-3 ground out. About as nice as the one that ended the second inning to begin the top of the third inning. Sliding to his right back of the third base bag, Austin Deming comes up with the grounder and a long, strong throw to Jacob Wilk. Wilk makes the pick at first, and that's one gone here in the top of the third. BYU and LMU playing their 36th game all time. BYU leads the series 18 to 17. Fastball missing outside from Bryce Robison, 1 0 to Grant Weiss. Weiss struck out swinging in the first. Another grounder to Deming. Again to his knees and again behind the bag. And again a good throw to first. And back-to-back 5-3 ground outs. Make it two out in the third. Brett Zimmerman will now bat for the Lions. So LMU defensively ended the BYU second with a 5-3. Then back-to-back 5-3s to open the top of the third inning. Two gone for Zimmerman. Zimmerman singled and scored the Lions' first run in the second inning. It's LMU 2 and BYU 0, top three. The left-handed bat of Brett Zimmerman facing 
Bryce Robinson, grounder to the other corner this time. Jacob Wilk will handle, step on the first base bag, and quickly 1-2-3 in the top of the third. No runs, no hits, no errors, no one left down. We go bottom three, Lions two, Cougs nothing on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more BYU baseball, let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Bottom three here at Miller Park. The sun breaks through with the wind blowing out to center. The batter's box, batter's circle in shadow. The pitcher's mound, the infield, and the entire outfield now currently in sunshine. As overcast is given way to partly sunny. On this cooling night along the Wasatch front, ball one delivered from Diego Barrera to Colin Reuter. Reuter leading off the BYU third. Cougs trail 2-0. Count goes to one and one. Adam Dowdy, home plate umpire, calling a call strike to Reuter. Off-speed breaker outside for ball two. Two and one to BYU's catcher with hits in four of his last five games. Got a rest on Tuesday. Chase Peterson was behind the plate. Fastball grooved in, swung on and missed. 84 mile per hour heater. Two and two the count to Reuter. Reuter hitting for the first time tonight. The nine-hole hitter for BYU. He's on a five-game streak of reaching base. Reaches out to foul that out of play. Beyond the LMU bullpen down the right field line. Six home runs on the year, which is tied for second. Brock Watkins leads in round trippers with eight. Gamble and Wilk and Reuter all with six apiece. Count goes to three and two. And the take by Colin. So full count. That'll be grounded foul to the BYU dugout. Count stays full. Diego Barrera yet to issue a base on balls. Two strikeouts both in the first inning. Has given up a single in both the first and the second innings. BYU bats now, bottom three, trailing 2 nothing, And that'll be handled deep in the hole. No throw. Grounder to Casillas. And deep enough in the hole to be an infield single. So the Cougs have three hits in three innings. As Colin Reuter with a leadoff single with now hits in five of his last six games. A grounder deep in the hole. And the shortstop Casillas fielded it. Fielded it while sliding to his right, but came up with no throw as he could not get Colin Reuter down the line. So the top of the order, Ozzie Pratt, Colin's former high school teammate, bats top of the order. The one hitter. Mm. Bender inside, called strike one. 0-1 oh, one to Ozzie. Ozzie with a 1-3 ground out as he tried to get aboard with a bunt to begin the game. Lefty v. lefty matchup is at 86 miles per hour. The fastball is called strike two. And that's the low outside corner. A nice pitch made by Barrera. 0-2 to Ozzie Pratt. The man on first is Colin Reuter. One on, no one out. Tying run at the plate for the Kooks. Ozzie reaches out and fouls that on the ground down the third baseline. Count stays 0-2. The WCC series between BYU and LMU is in BYU's favor, 17 to 13. In regular season games, BYU has the 16 to 11 edge. 0-2 to Pratt, high for ball one. This is LMU's 13th visit to Miller Park. BYU six and six all time against LMU here in Provo. The one-two to Pratt. And he'll foul that to the screen. LMU visiting here for the first time since 2018. They were to open the conference campaign against BYU in 2020. In fact, they were here and getting ready to play BYU on the day. The season was canceled due to COVID in 2020. Everything broke apart that day, the day that the Lions were to open the 2020 conference campaign here in Provo. The 1-2, and Ozzie fouls out of play down the third baseline. Count stays 1-2. and two. It was a Thursday afternoon. A lot of focus on basketball that day with the NCAA tournament following the next week and conference tournaments underway. And everything started to happen that Thursday afternoon, including the cancellation of BYU and LMU and the baseball season that goes fouling off the top of the screen into the stands. 
One ball, two strikes. Long at bat for Pratt. LMU leading BYU 2 0. We're in the bottom of the third here at Larry H. Miller Field. BYU no runs on three hits. LMU two runs on four hits. That's in the dirt to even the count at two and two from Diego Barrera. Barrera making his ninth start tonight. A very tidy whip of 1.04 on the year with a lot of innings. He's a good pitcher and can go deep in games. Again, a 124 pitch day as part of his season. A fly out to right for Pratt and one gone here in the bottom of the third. So Ozzie Pratt is 0 for 2 in an attempt to extend a five game hit streak. Brock Watkins will now bat, and Brock singled and stole a base before being stranded in the first inning. With that single, his hit streak goes to seven games. Leads BYU in hits, runs, homers, total bases, and slugging percentage. Brock doing it all offensively as a throw over to first. Forces Ruder to scamper back in plenty of time. Diego Barrera, southpaw on the hill, facing the right-handed bat of Brock Watkins. Three lefties in the BYU batting order tonight with a lefty on the hill. The lefty batters are Pratt in the one hole, McIntyre at three, and Gamble at five. Ryan Brady will start tomorrow for BYU. TBA on Saturday. Jack Sterner is skipping a start this weekend due to a throwing hand blister. A quarter swing. They'll appeal to first. No dice there. So one ball, one strike with one out and one on. Here in the top of the bottom of the third inning. BYU trailing LMU by a score of 2-0. BYU in the all-whites tonight. Navy caps, white jerseys and pants. The Brigham Young script across the chest. The 1-1. And that'll be a 5-6 hole single through the left side. And it's two aboard with one gone in the bottom of the third. Brock Watkins is two for two singles in both plate appearances. Going to second is Ruder on the play. And Mitch McIntyre will now bat. Mitch on a six-game history coming in two tonight. Uh, swung out, a struck out swinging in the first. First of two consecutive strikeouts for Barrera to end the first frame. He's not struck out a batter since Ryan Sapiti ended the first with a forward K. The 1-1. One, one. one on, one out, two on. Ball low to McIntyre. Mitch McIntyre playing with a sore wrist, a right wrist, that kept him out of a game last weekend. Call strike. Count is one and one to McIntyre. One ball, one strike, one out, two on. Ruder on second, Watkins on first. For BYU, the tying run at first base. Outside edge, outside edge and corner away from the left-handed hitting McIntyre for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Fastball at 83. Catching the corner. Nice paint job by the southpaw, Barrera. The one-two to Mitch. Ball low and away. Ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Two on with one gone in the bottom of the third. Both teams four hits. LMU two runs on their four hits. BYU scoreless on the night. Barrel comes off the shoulder, but Mitch holds back. The count is full. Three and two. Barrera yet to walk a batter tonight. Has a full count to McIntyre with Ruder on second and Watkins on first. Barrera kicks and deals, swung on, grounder, second baseman handles, comes up firing and does not get McIntyre, who beats it out down the line, and the bases are loaded with one out here in the bottom of the third. A grounder between first and second, moving to his left to handle it was Roberts. Cole Roberts came up firing and just misses McIntyre at first. So bases loaded for Ryan Sapiti. Tying run now on second with runners on first, second, and third. A swing and a miss for Sapiti to 0-1. Ryan Sapiti. 
five for nine, 556 is his bases loaded average this season. And BYU as a team, 345 with the sacks stacked. A fly to center. Center fielder appeared to lose it. Right fielder comes across to make the catch. A runner will tag and score. The Cougars' first run of the game is Colin Ruder trots home from third on out number two. You're in inning number three. It's now 2-1, LMU leading BYU on the sack fly for Sapiti. And that's RBI number 42 for BYU's RBI leader. Next batter is Cole Gamble. Scoreboard shows one out. There are two gone here. Here we go. Two gone here in the bottom of the third. No balls and a strike to Gamble. 2-1 the score. LMU's lead cut to one. Tying run still on second in Brock Watkins. McIntyre on first. And now one and one the count to Cole Gamble. Gamble grounded out 4-3 in his first at-bat in the second inning. He's got a 17-game reached base streak going. Coming in two tonight as Cole makes his first start in right field in exactly eight weeks on this evening. 1-1. Two out, two on. The back pick at second and just getting back is Watkins. At the shortstop, Casillas covered. Fielded the throw from Barrera. Casillas swiping down and Brock just getting a hand in ahead of the pickoff attempt. One ball, one strike. Wind gusting out to center, right center. The sun's still shining on the infield and outfield as that's outside for ball two. Two balls and a strike to Gamble. In his last four games, Cole Gamble coming in two tonight was hitting 400 with four runs and three RBI. 0 for 1 tonight. 2-1 to Cole. And pops it up opposite field. Left fielder ranging toward the paint makes a diving attempt at it, but it's beyond his reach in foul territory down that left field line. Puts the count even at 2-2. Two and two. Colin Ruder led off the in inning with a single, an infield single. He came around to score on the sack fly from Ryan Sapiti. That came with the bases loaded. And so officially BYU without an at-bat with the bases loaded, but it was a run-producing at-bat for Sapiti. 2-1 LMU here in the bottom of the third. Count goes full. So Barrera still yet to issue a walk, but he's gone full to a number of hitters tonight. Ruder singling, Watkins singling, McIntyre singling all here in the third. And a waving strike on a pitch low and away by Gamble. It's a forward K to end the third. The Cougs do score one run on three hits. There were no errors, and there were two left on. We go top four, LMU two, BYU one, on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.